Hey guys, it is Leverdo1 here, and today I don't really know what I'm doing, but I think I'm going to make stars orbit each other. So, I am just wanted to do this for no apparent reason. So, oh yes, now I remembered what I wanted to do. Um, what I wanted to do, okay, music, please stop. Universe Sandbox, you're interrupting my video, at least for me. There we go. Okay, now it's just too quiet. Um, I'm feeling very loud today. So, here we go. And what I was going to do is I am going to try to see if we can make planets survive in orbit around the star. Like this, sort of. I'm w just wondering if the planet's gravity will... I mean, star's gravity will be interrupted at will be interrupting the planet's orbit, so I'm just going to put like a bunch of planets in orbit around the outside, which is where I think they're most likely to survive. And I'm going to put some on the inside where I think they won't survive. And then we're just going to run the simulation and see how many of them have lived and how many are going to die. Let's put some around this star for a good measure. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna watch out for weird names for just a minute, and you can look out, comment below if you see any names that look weird. Um, I mean, they all look weird to me, but none of them resemble words or anything. So now we are going to go to... Okay, view. First off, we want to see orbits. Okay, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Maybe we're just going to see a trail. Okay, let's take a look at this star. Okay, there's this planet that's just... I don't know what it's doing. Okay. Whoa, did you see those planets almost collide? Okay, now the stars will be get closing in on their chaotic zones as they... Come here. Boom, one planet died. And it looks like this one's about to die. Boom. Boom. We've got another one dying. Done, done, done. And another one bites the dust. Done, done, done. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites and another one bites and another one bites the dust. Boom. Whoa! That planet's going to get ejected. I'm just seeing so many planets that just are not even going to orbit the star. So now let's speed up the simulation even more. As the star makes weird orbits. There are fewer and fewer planets. Ami is just like, bye bye. Whoa, cool patterns. And that planet's doomed. Or not. Or maybe, yeah. Okay, there are a couple planets that are surviving. But I doubt they'll last. It is very h hard for these plants to survive. I mean, Ami here... Or that's Arnie. Okay, Arnie. Ugh, I'm tired and my eyes are looking weird. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are those things? There are a couple burning balls of fire. Okay, the way I said that. But never mind. There's this ball of fire that's just orbiting around getting hotter and hotter and they're somehow surviving here okay apparently planets can survive by becoming balls of fire that and um, also meaning that they're orbiting their star so closely that I mean, it looks kind of thorny I mean look at that that looks thorny Tell me if that doesn't look thorny. I'm pretty sure that looks thorny. 
Okay, here are all the ejected planets and fragments. Fragments in that direction for some reason. Look at those solar flares, though. Whoa. I'm going to slow this down so we can take a closer look at this. Whoa, that looks so cool. That'd be such a good animation. Wait, trails, labels. No, dang it. We need trails for it to look good. Okay, that makes a great animation, I think. If you don't have all these other lines. Okay, now we need trails and labels again. Okay, so anyway, um, let's take a look at Nustack. That's kind of freezing over right now. But dang, look at that yellow atmosphere. Looks like the planet Kronos from Star Trek. Wonder if there are any Star Trek fans here? Or are you all Star Wars fans? No, I'm just kidding. I'm a Star Wars fan, too. I like Star Wars. Scientifically, it's really dumb, but um, I do like it because of the sci-fi element. Sci-fi doesn't have to completely obey science, in my opinion. Just, I would prefer it if it did more so. Okay. This simulation is too slow. We are speeding it up. Whoop! 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 There's this cool period when it, this star just completely stops moving. And this star just goes like that. And another one gets completely ejected. Notice the tiny planets that survive by orbiting the star. Oh wait, I already pointed that out. Huh. Lagging simulation. Show orbits. Okay, these things don't have orbits, but um, some of these things do. This orbit is constantly shifting. Oh, it's like a hula hoop. Hula 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 hoop. Hula 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 hoop. Hula. What is going? Okay. Okay, there are all these objects that don't really show any sign of having a stable orbit. So let's speed it up even more. I wonder if these things will ever die, the fireball planets. Honestly, I feel like they'd burn up where they are. But apparently they aren't. Whoa, they're looking more octagonal as we lag the simulation even more. Okay, let's shrink that back down where it won't lag it as much. Whoa, take a look at that. Whoa, that is so cool. Orbits. Wait, pause. How long does this thing take to orbit? To orbit the star. Orbital period eight hours, and this thing takes ten hours. Okay, definitely not way too close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, wow! Looks 
Looks like this assumed a stable orbit or not. Hmm. It's really hard for me to tell with these things. So, in my opinion, this probably... The one reason that I made this video that I never told you guys in the beginning about is that I just feel like there's been some hype about a new planet that's been... Wait, no, never mind, that's not true, that's, uh, wait, what am I talking about? Um, okay, so, there's some ideas that Alpha Centauri might be the best place to send a starship due to its proximity to, to Earth, and the idea is that maybe there's a planet or something there, but just looking at this simulation, how likely is it that we'll find a planet I mean, this simulation has been going for 10.2 years, put like 40 objects, I don't know how many objects I put them, put in there, but most of them are not really habitable, I mean, let's see, aim, let's see, um, these are just fireball fragments, Tasky is a water ball, Vet, so is Vedavus and Rookchurn, Anarchy, Anarchy, Anarch. Okay, this planet looks really cool. I gotta take a look at this. Oh, wait, you can't really see it. Okay, but most of these planets aren't very likely to be able to host life. I mean, this is after 10 years of the simulation. 10 years of the simulation, and this has already become. Im the system has become inhospitable and the reason I didn't put gas giants in there is because it's the idea is that probably uh, gas giants can't form there I watched it I watched a documentary by the way I have a cold so I'm very sorry about that it is disgusting but okay getting back to the point which I know is very hard for me and probably a lot of other people but getting back to the point what was the point again okay blah 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 excitement about Alpha Centauri well I'm here to tell you that there probably aren't a lot of hospitable planets and there are probably a bajillion people who have already sa said that but I'm saying it in my own distracted 12 minute to say one sentence way so hope you guys enjoyed Lever to one, signing out.